In this quick video, I'm going to show you the changes that happened in Kittle from within your project, your profile area, as well as inside the editor. Because if you didn't notice, quite a bit has changed. The layers moved over to the left. There's some different panels over on the right. Your profile probably looks a little bit different. It's okay. We're going to go through that together if you're just joining us. My name is Drew. I run the production team here at Kittle. And if you haven't given it a try yet, this is probably a great video to start with just to see what all has changed in the editor. And if you want to get started, you can use that link down in the description. So let's dive in right here. This is my project profile or my profile for my account in Kittle right now. And as you can see, the left side of the panel here has changed. So now we have an easier access to get to templates. We have access to get to tools. Obviously, you can see here I'm in my projects right here. And then you can update your profile. You can head over to the blog. You can go into your system settings, things like that, or you could return turn to the home page. Now, as far as functionality, everything else is pretty much the same as it was when it was in the old UI. We've just kind of changed the way that you navigate it there on the left side, i.e. making templates a lot easier to get to if you see just like that. So now without having to flip back and forth between the home page as one place and then your profile as a separate page, boom, you can navigate it from that left side super easily. So again, click projects, boom, I'm back in all of my projects projects that I've been working on here. And we're going to click into one of them just to check out what all is changed. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one, which is from one of the videos I did a couple weeks ago on retro t-shirt designs. If you want to check that out, you can click the cards up there. I made retro t-shirt designs, but already from within the editor, you're probably noticing that it is a lot more sleek. Now, maybe you think that it's exactly what you were looking for. Maybe you think it's a little bit daunting, perhaps for those of you who may be beginners, but for those of you using using other editors and things like this is pretty much the same. Now, you might notice that this bar, which has the arrow, which is the selection tool, the artboard tool, the shape tool, and now we have comment mode where you can put comments all over the artboard and you can actually invite other people to your project to collaborate in real time. And we'll do another video specifically on that. This bar used to be up here in the top left in the previous interface, same functionality, just moved it to the bottom here. So all this is the same, I can still draw an artboard, I can still go in here, grab my tool and still round my corners, anything like that. All the features that we talked about in the previous videos that have come out, everything works the same. We just moved where it was, right? So biggest change is probably to the left panel here. So notably, the layers used to be over here on the bottom right. Now, some of you might be saying, why did we do that? But you did this for what? Why not? Why? Why not? Okay, well, let's take this project for example. Already just selecting the artboard, I have all of these things that I can now customize in the right panel. If I wanted to have my layers panel open, which was originally down here in the bottom right corner, and I wanted to have all of these editing things that I'm going into and changing, as well as if you check this out right here, now I can add margin to my project if I want to, which is super helpful. If I try to have all of that open with my layers at the bottom and all of these customizations, I would have to really choose. Do I want to see all my layers or do I want to see all of the different editing things? But now if I open up my layers, I can see all my layers here on the left and still have my editing functionality on the right. So if it was too much of a stark contrast and you were like, why did you change the layers? This is going to be better. I mean, you now can select on any layer that you want to, for example, this one right here, and I can still go over here and look, I have all of this space to edit all of this stuff, or I can select this. I can find a layer much more easily. This is going to be way better for if I have 8, 10, 15 different artboards, I can find them much, much easier by opening and closing it and now you just have a much more streamlined workflow. Now that's probably the biggest notable difference to the left side panel is that layers were added to the left side taken from the right. Now obviously the left is now locked which is nice so if I move this all around this panel isn't going to open or close like it did used to. It would have to upload something to have this open. This layers panel will stay open. Over here on the right this panel was originally sliding in every time I selected text. Now it's locked. So no matter what I'm doing, it just gives you a lot more freedom so that you're not maybe working on something. And then all of a sudden a panel slides over on top of your design. Hello. 
but we can still exit this out and just have this all as workable space. You don't have to have this left panel open all of the time. As far as the other pieces of the panel, templates is the same. As you can see here, it looks exactly the same. We're just giving you more real estate to look through it. Text is still the same. So you still have all of your text, headline, paragraph, and layouts that you can come and grab from. Elements, still the same. Brand kits, still the same. Uploads, still the same. Images, same. Textures currently is the same. We are going to be editing some functionality in textures, but as of right now, you still grab the artboard and then you select the paper texture. Now, for any of you that don't know this, by the way, we have a ton more blending modes, right? We have a whole bunch more blending modes here. But if you don't want this locked to this, you can always release the texture. Releasing it will make it go back to its normal setting because you've released it from the artboard. However, you can still go and put put it back on whatever it was and then still move it around still on top so you can do whatever you want you can even take it away from this artboard and move it on another one you can release it so for those of you that didn't know that you can do that but we are going to be updating just how textures work in the near future but as of right now they're the same and then with AI, we have added some things to AI, but all that's different is it's just locked now. It doesn't keep sliding over and sliding away. It's in this left locked panel for you there, which is amazing. And we have a couple new things in the image generator. For those of you that didn't see, we have released Flux. We'll be doing a different video on that, just showing you the sheer power of Flux. It's absolutely incredible. We made this much more clear, public and private mode. It's not a toggle anymore. It's a drop down. Should make that way easier for you. And then we also have this thing called image restyle which is really really cool right now I don't have an image in here to select I guess I could have this select the archery but if you added an image and then you gave it a different style it would do it for you basically take your image and then take your prompt that says I want to see this in neo futuristic cyberpunk it would change the image and we're gonna do a separate video on that so just because I'm not going into it in detail here doesn't mean we're not gonna cover it this is just for showing you around the UI okay and then you may also notice this hamburger menu up at the top and this is where you're going to get back to either starting a new project getting back to your projects duplicating this current project or switching your view settings if you want to have a play with this the grid is the same way that it was before but now if you notice right here we have rulers and guides okay so we're going to do a separate video make sure you check out the next video because after this video i'm literally just going to record talking about how rulers and guides work but you can have this view on at all time you can also just use shift r to turn it on or turn it off you see right there and then you can also have margin which you will have to go over and play in the right side panel after you select this you will go over here into the margin but if you ever don't want the view on, you can come back here and you can actually turn the view of the margin off. So just because I clicked it right there on the left side, I actually hadn't defined any margin yet. So now that I've defined margin over here in the right side, which again, separate video, gonna do a separate video on it, don't worry, don't worry. But do not fret. <laughs> I'm just going through this quickly so you know exactly what happened to the UI here. You can always go over here and change what you're seeing. You can turn the rulers and the guides off, turn the margins off or back on and just a quick sneak peek if you want to add guidelines you go up into the ruler you go up to the ruler and then check out how this icon changed click and drag and that is how you will bring your guides down on either side okay now notice when I did that this left side panel went away and that's just on purpose because currently this was in the way and it didn't need to be there so if I click out of it that goes away that little hover box goes away and then now I can start adding all of my guides but again we're gonna do a separate video on that now you've had all these guides they're kinda of in the way you don't really want to see all that go back to view boom or if you're in the editor shift R shift R on any keyboard doesn't matter Mac Windows whatever it's shift R and then you have your normal settings you can change it to inches pixels millimeters now this is a new one right now I don't have any comments on this project because I haven't invited anybody to see it but let's say you are working on a project it's this t-shirt design you've sent it to the person that's going to be selling this t-shirt they're making some edits they can do that now by just commenting straight within the project and they're all over the place and you need room to work you can go in here and you can turn the comments off in settings let's check it so let's see a different color boom so I added a comment and you can see it here I'm still in editing mode right so I'm, I'm like doing whatever now if I don't want that here maybe this was like literally right here it's <laughs> just in the way of me editing well I can go over here 
and I can go to settings and I can just turn off comments. Now it'll say comments visible only in comment mode. So now I'm free to edit, da 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 da. And then if I go back to comment mode, it pops back up. You can also see it over here in the right. This is a brand new thing that you're gonna probably have to get used to, but it's gonna make things so much easier. You're gonna be able to get feedback on stuff. You can easily add people to the project up here with this little plus icon. So if we go to invite to project, now you can invite people and you can also say, you know, anyone with the link can view, only invited members can view, whatever. And then you can actually have them edit the project. OK, so we're going to do a separate video on that. But already within a project itself, you can use this comment mode and toggle it on or off over in the settings. Now, if you don't need that. Don't worry about it. You can also switch back and forth between light mode and dark mode for those of you that want it in light or those of you that want it in dark. But that's pretty much the quick specifics of the user. UI change right here, right? Plus and minus still work for zooms. Alter option key and scroll in or out still work for zooms. Spacebar, all, all of the tools you can always go and find here in the help down in the bottom left. You can go to shortcuts and you can see all of what we've added and how to get to it, right? The quick panel menu right here or the contextual task bar, whichever you would like to call it. All the features are still there. You can go to more options. Everything's the same. We've just packaged it in a much more easy to use and aesthetically pleasing UI in my opinion that is locked right so it's not gonna just like slide in that was probably the biggest feedback we were getting is like this keeps sliding in my way right I'm trying to edit my text and as soon as I click the text whew, it slides over it won't happen anymore you can now have your layers panel boom all open on the left with as many projects as you have and then you have the entire room on the right side to edit whatever it is so let me know what you think in the comments this was kind of meant to be a short video Video. I'm not sure how long this has ended up right now, but let me know in the comments what you think of our new refreshed UI. Do you love it? Do you just like it? Are you indifferent? I just, we want to know, right? We want to know what's going on and with your workflow and if this is going to make things better for you. If you're missing something, we'd also love to know that as well. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Kittle YouTube channel. It helps us out a ton. And if you haven't, you can join our Discord if you need immediate access in terms of like questions to get answers to. We have a ton of amazing people over in the discord that is all down in the description as well thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video